Today we're going to follow up last week's really intense, thoughtful conversation about identity politics with uh, expat cooking. I love baking. It's one of my favorite things. Coming from America, everywhere in the world proves a little bit of a project. When you want to bake, we have to convert everything. In addition to that, I don't actually have an oven. I have this excellent microwave oven, really just a glorified easy bake oven. It doesn't stay on for more than six minutes at a time. It makes that delightful noise the entire time. Today I am making Nutella and coffee cookies. They're amazing. Sidebar about Nutella. I can't speak for all foreigners, but I know that Americans in particular, like, we go apeshit over this. Nutella is like one of the best performing brands on Facebook. We love this stuff. Obviously Nutella is a French product and French people enjoy it. You can find Nutella pretty much everywhere. And maybe it's because of its ubiquitous availability. And maybe Gael will disagree with me on this. I get the sense that French people find our infatuation with Nutella to be a little bit weird. Dear France, most Americans think that this is the greatest thing you've ever done. One third of a cup of Nutella, I'm going to use a little bit more than that. I'm basically going to empty out this jar because the two packets of espresso are really, really strong. The recipe that I'm using did not originally call for these, so I use more Nutella to balance that out. Two teaspoons of vanilla extract, you can swap that out for a half a teaspoon or one teaspoon of hazelnut extract also to offset some of the coffee. One and a quarter cups of flour, third of a cup of milk, one teaspoon of baking powder, one stick of butter, half a cup of sugar, half a cup of brown sugar. Preheat the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, which is somewhere in the neighborhood of 175, maybe a little less. This is what I'm using as roughly one cup. My goal is really just to keep the measurements consistent. Step one, flour, baking powder, instant coffee. Mix it up. Butter, sugar, sugar. Yes, I am drinking coffee while I make coffee. I just really like coffee. Step three, I think we're on. <laughs> Vanilla extract into the butter sugar mixture. Step four, Nutella. Half of the flour mixture goes into the butter, sugar, and Nutella mixture. Step whatever, milk, in here. Almost done. Add the rest of the flour mixture to the recipe now calls for you to put it in the refrigerator for about an hour or two. I don't actually have an hour or two, so I'm gonna leave it in there while I start actually preheating my glorified easy bake oven. In a couple minutes, I'm just gonna take it out. Because of how small that toaster oven is, all I have is this, and I can only do one at a time. Again, in six minute intervals. <laughs> the cookies are supposed to bake for 10 to 12 minutes, so basically two turns through the timer for me. Just 10 to 12 minutes for people who have proper ovens. Mine are a little bit gooier than they're supposed to be because I use too much Nutella. Normally you're supposed to kind of roll it out like snickerdoodles basically, like roll it out and press it flat, but I, all of the Nutella that I used to make it so that I can't do that. Right, so recipes give you specific amounts for a reason. Round one, maybe a little less successful than I would have liked. This is where the fact that I can only bake nine at a time actually comes in handy. Yes, they look stupid, but they still taste delicious. Round two, I'm using smaller little blobs. And there they are, varying degrees of actually cooking like. Nom 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 nom. 